Hi everyone, my name is Carmen and welcome to this episode of Hannon Inside Out where we have one-on-one -on -one conversations with people of the William H. Hannon Library. Before we get started, make sure to subscribe down below to our YouTube channel and click the bell icon to receive notifications every time we upload a new video. We have some amazing library events that are posted on this channel frequently so you don't wanna miss them. Um, but all right, today we'll be chatting with systems librarian, Stephanie Gritz. Welcome, Stephanie. Hello. Hi, how are you doing today? Good, how are you? I'm doing well. I'm very excited to be interviewing you and I'm looking forward to learning about your role in the library and you in general. Oh, I'm very much looking forward to talking to you. <laughs> Yay, so let's get started. Um, so when you tell people you work in the library, what is their typical reaction? Uh, people who know me are usually like, oh, that makes sense. I was always the kid that was like reading books growing up. Um, other people, you know, can be like, Oh, wait, libraries are still a thing or like that kind of thing but you know most most people are like oh that's pretty cool <laughs> right they're like okay yeah so okay. Yeah. tell us about your job in the library yeah so as systems librarian that might sound like a very vague nebulous title that like doesn't uh describe a lot but really what that means is that i am the manager or the administrator for pretty much any library technology that isn't handled by ITS. So while ITS is handling stuff like, you know, Outlook, that kind of thing, um, mm -hmm. I handle our platforms that are specific to library products. So specifically, the big thing I deal with is our ILS, our integrated library system, which is uh, Sierra. Um, and the way that you might have interacted with Sierra is by using the library catalog. So that's just one component of, of Sierra. Um, and the Sierra actually helps us manage all the back end work that has to be done to make resources accessible through our catalog. So um, pretty much almost, I would say like half the people that work in the library, most of their work is done in Sierra. Uh, so I'm here to make sure that everything is running smoothly with that. And that can be some, you know, I, I provide a lot of uh, troubleshooting and support. Um, that can be anything from helping somebody reset their password, or it can be nobody can access the catalog and we need to figure out what's going on as quickly as possible, <laughs> you know, so um, mm -hmm. it, it's, I also deal with any hardware for staff, so all the staff computers and that kind of thing, um, if they're uh, up for replacement, I help with that process. Um, so yeah, I'm just I'm here to make sure that our technology runs smoothly, basically. Awesome. It sounds like you definitely play like an integral part in what makes the LMU library world go round. <laughs> I, yeah, I hope so. <laughs> yeah. Um, so how did you come to be a librarian? Um, so I was one of those people that could never really settle on a major as an undergrad. I started off as an animal biology major thinking I wanted to be a veterinarian. Um, did an internship where I pretty quickly realized like I loved working with animals, but I didn't think I could really handle the like emotional pressure of that kind of a job. Yeah. <laughs> um, so I jumped around. I was an anthropology major for a while. Um, I eventually, this is totally separate from my undergraduate degree, eventually got about two thirds of a computer science degree, mm -hmm. um, but actually ultimately ended up with an English major and an art history minor. But through all of that, the one consistent thing was that uh, starting my freshman year, I worked in the library. So it was just always a place where I felt comfortable. And I started out doing you know, the basic stuff that kind of any student employee does, like reshaping books and that kind of thing. But then I started working um, in uh, processing departments. So I was labeling new books, and then eventually I was working on some more preservation kind of stuff, like uh, binding books and that kind of thing. So I got to see a lot of the back end work of libraries, and I just really fell in love with working in libraries and being in libraries and kind of um, how that flow of how libraries make all this information available to people. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I love that. You definitely like branched out and did a little bit of everything. And I'm sure that helps when it comes to working at the library. Yeah, definitely. I love that. Um, so how have you been able to adapt your job to the online environment now? So fortunately for me, I don't have a lot of interaction with 
the public side that you know a lot of our like reference or instruction librarians have mm -hmm. um so i think compared to some people it's maybe been a little easier for me to adapt um a lot of times i'll have to be checking on systems from home anyway just to make sure things are running smoothly or i'll get a report that like somebody's having trouble with something i'll need to check on it from home anyway and so i'm already set up to do most of what i need to um obviously i can't manage hardware as easily <laughs> remotely but generally i've had a pretty easy time of getting into the flow of things and also it gives me the opportunity to you know stay at home with my critters all day so yes you were like i got this you were fully prepared yeah I feel like the library in general has a lot of resources that were already available online and the library just transition has been so smooth and through these interviews i've really found too like with each role and each librarian it was like a really smooth transition which is definitely reassuring for students to hear i think yeah for sure i know there's been a lot of focus on making sure that our you know e-resources are still just as easily available when everybody's off campus um and and that kind of thing and you know i do have a hand in helping make sure that that happens so mm -hmm. we're all just working together to make sure that students still have the access to information they need and, and really trying to make that as smooth as possible Definitely. Yeah. Um, so are there any departments in the library or the university in general that you work closely with through your job? Yeah, so because of the nature of my job, I work pretty closely with pretty much everybody in the library. There aren't many departments I don't, um, actually, I would say there aren't any departments I don't deal with regularly. Uh, <laughs> uh, in terms of on campus, I work very closely with ITS. They manage some of our servers, and so I'm a lot of times liaison when it comes to um, accounts and things like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cool. That's great. You get to experience and work with all the departments. Yeah. Yeah. I love working with everybody. It's it's really interesting to be able to uh, understand kind of what everybody's doing on a daily basis and and then provide the support that they need to do that. Yeah. Definitely. Um, so for our final kind of question, um, do you have any lasting words you'd like to leave for the LME students or the community in general? Um, I would just like to say that, I guess kind of reiterate at this point, that um, really what we're here to do is make sure that students and researchers using our library, whether that's in the building or off campus, have access to all the information they need. Um, and that's really the goal of everybody in the library. I think. Um, so even even the people like me, yeah, even the people like me that that you know people might that students might not see on a regular basis or even know exist, um, we all share that common goal. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's so reassuring. I love yeah. that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes, exactly. Um, thank you so much. What a great note to end on. Um, if you have any other questions or just want to learn more from Stephanie, you can email her at stephanie.gritz at lmu.edu. Um, but thank you so much again, Stephanie, for joining me today. This was so fun. I learned a lot more about the library and I hope everyone watching did too. Um, make sure to follow us on Instagram and Twitter at LMU Library and go to library.lmu.edu to learn more about our events coming up and to subscribe and click the bell icon below to be notified when we upload a new video. Great. Thank you, everyone. Bye. Bye.